Who are your perfect customers? Welcome back to another episode of Davidson Alast. Today, before we get into any main points, I have a story that I want to share with you right here. Now, I have a friend who owns a cheese business. He, his place sells cheese. Now, when I asked him, so what are the t- people who typically buy from you? Oh, uh, just basically anyone who likes cheese. Now, what happened was he went bankrupt. Maybe after like uh, one or two years later. Because he said it was really hard for him to find new customers. Using this example, I want to let you know that besides making yourself a specialist in the industry you're good at, you also have to pick the perfect customers for your business. Now today, I would like to talk about what it takes to help you to find these perfect customers. Now, how do you find out where your perfect customers are? And this is by studying who they are. Do you have a profile about the characteristics of them? Now today, I'd like to talk about a very simple profiles that can help you. Now, the customers, what is, what are the, what are the genders? Are they male or female? What age group? What specific age are you targeting? Now, in the case of this uh, cheesecake business, sorry, cheese business, uh, are you targeting mostly uh, people from, say, 20 to 65? Or are you mostly targeting uh, people from 65 up because the taste may be different depending on the age group. Some older people they prefer sharp cheese or cheese that uh, are slightly more salty because uh, they prefer to eat something more salty for, for versus uh, younger age groups who may prefer a varieties of different flavors. Are they single or married? Would you expect single? Uh, are you targeting mostly single individuals or married couples to come to your cheese shop? Do they have any kids? Because if you do, are you going to cater something special in that cheese shop to welcome the kids and make them buy the products? What is the income level? How much money are your perfect customers going to make? Are they, are they more like a middle income family or more like a high class people who, who can afford to pay a lot on cheese? Education. How much, uh, and, and we are talking about not just about whether they have like a university degree or not, or or basically how much understanding they have on cheese how educated they are about cheese do you want to sell to people who don't know too much about cheese or do you want to sell more to the experts of cheese and obviously the quality of the cheese required would be different depending on where whether you sell to someone who knows cheese a lot or someone who's just okay with any anything Region, where are they located? Now, for people, say, uh, I, I live in Canada for over 16 to 17 years. If you're from the, uh, from the, the we- from Western Canada, uh, there may be like a different cheese preference compared to people from Eastern Canada. Interest, 
what kind of uh, interest do they usually have? Are you targeting people who usually like to go outdoor? Or people who would like to stay indoor? Because uh, for cheese lovers, uh, what, do they prefer to eat cheese indoor or outdoor? Because that will also affect the kind of cheese you're going to sell. Characters. What kind of uh, characters do they have? Different characters, maybe that also affects the, the taste of the cheese that they prefer. Media. The customers that you want to target, do they get to know you because of uh, social media or they just mostly prefer newspaper or, or watching TV ads? And that actually also ties back to their age as well, because people who tend from their older age group, maybe they are still more uh, affiliate with the, the traditional media versus the younger generation that is more on social media. Needs. What, what kind of uh, needs do they have? What, what kind of a demand or taste preference do they want out of the cheese? And last but not least, when they eat cheese, are there any like uh, things that make them feel uncomfortable uh, yeah. or a any bad experiences they, they may potentially have as they consume the cheese? Now, this is just a very basic example that can help you to filter the kind of uh, filter the, the customers so that by tailoring on the different characteristics you can basically know the profile of who you want to target and I mentioned before that nowadays marketing is dominated by social media so what happened is in order to get people to know you what we do at Compologus our virtual mall uh, e-commerce platform is that we create messages on Facebook that would that based on the different profiles of our perfect customers. Now here's an example. If you want to sell say like a red dress to uh, lay, to young ladies so we already make uh, making an assumption on the on the prof, on the profiles of the customers that female as a gender age group is typically between twenty to even to thirty five. Single or married doesn't matter uh, for for this lady who wants to buy the, the red dress. Maybe no kids. Who knows? Maybe have kids. Uh, income that depends on the price of the, the, the depends on the income and you sell products that will uh, that will be adjusted based on the income level they have what kind of uh, education the location where they where they are from <coughs> interest what kind of characters would like a red dress how do they find out about this red dress usually? What kind of needs do they have for this red dress? Or what kind of events would they use the red dress for? Are they using it for like a party, a wedding, a wedding ceremony, or like a ball? So that helps them to bring up their status. And last but not least, like what, what kind of a uh, uh, painful experience they may have as they use the product. So all these will help to customize your message as you put them on your Facebook. Say if I put on a message, perfect red dress for young ladies who are trendy and also with, uh, with a slim with slim body and only available today 
if you click on this link, you get an automatic 10% off. Now this is just like a very typical, uh, an example of how we may use these informations to create your Facebook message so that you can, when people see this message, you are not targeting everyone, but instead, whoever that fits those criteria is like tailor-made for them. That message talk about why it is important to pick your customers, but not everybody on the street, because it helps you to get recognized faster and become the dominator in your niche market. That's point number one. Point number two, using by using these characters, you can build a profile of the of the tailored customers you want you want to approach. And by using these to create the Facebook messages, when your customers see these messages, they'll be able to automatically recognize and get to know your business well.